Okay, so picking things up for your third shrine. You can see it there in the distance, and we're just going to identify it with a pin. So you just pull up the map. You can see I've already dropped a pin over here. But if you want to do it yourself, you just open up the scope and press A for your pin. So once you've got that pin, you just head back down. And we're going to go and get the first shrine. The problem, though, is that it's not so easy to get to the first shrine. And the reason for that is it's in the mountains, which is too cold for Link in his little shirt. So we need to make sure he's got some kind of heat resistance, and that's going to be the first job. So there's a couple of things you can do in the Great Plateau to be able to get heat resistance. And the first job that you need to do is to get a nice elixir that's going to keep you a little bit warmer and then we're going to trek all the way up to the top of that peak in the far distance where the old dude is materiously going to meet you up there he's, uh, he's a wily character and you'll see him in a little bit actually so firstly head back up to where you first woke up which is right up at the top here don't worry about getting into any fights really, try and avoid them, they just sort of take time unnecessarily when you're doing these two shrines. So just keep on heading up, staying out of trouble, trying to cover the distance as quickly as you can. Don't worry about climbing any trees. So you can hear the noise there was one of the enemies coming to life, he heard you. But don't worry about him, keep on keep on going. Here again you'll see the mysterious guy who's managed to materialise here. He's the funny one. So we're just going to keep heading up and then we're going to do a little bit of climbing. And the reason we're doing this climbing here is because it gives you a bit of a better vantage point to take on the one fight that you need to do. So we're just going to climb up here. Don't use X on this wall to speed up your climb. It's too high and you'll essentially get close to the top and then just fall to the bottom. So make sure you just climb all the way, which is you know, a little bit time consuming. Not as tiring as it is for Link though, so just make it to the top. Any second now. Come on Link, you can do it. One last quick, you know, just over the top. Oh, that was close. Okay, so now we're here, and you can see just over there, there's a group of nasties just having a little sing and dance around. They're a bit weird. Who knows what they're cooking. And we're just going to get into a good location to be able to take them out with a relatively large amount of ease. So firstly, put out your bow and arrow. So what we're looking to do is shoot this guy in the head. Okay. And then we're just going to throw down a bomb. We're going to take out the rest of them. And as soon as that loads back up again, we're just going to drop it. And it's going to blast a few of them. And just sort of repeat that until you eventually take them out. Just a little arrow on this one. Another one gone. And the last one. <laughs> Go to the inventory and assign a new weapon. Like that. Just beat him around the face with a claw. Okay, and we're just going to collect some seared meat here. Whatever other items we can find. 
some lovely mushrooms. There's two there, so we'll grab those. And these are what you're looking for. These are spicy peppers, and when you cook with them, you can make a meal that gives you cold resistance. Kind of what you want. So I'm just going to change to a wooden weapon. Be able to light the stove. There we go. Now we're just going to select. Hold some of those mushrooms, an apple, and one of the spicy peppers. Click B to exit and A to cook. <laughs> there you go, a delicious meal, which we're going to eat. So grab whatever other food you can, other items. There's another little stash of spicy peppers up here, kind of should you need it later on. But once we make it to the top of the summit, we won't need it so much. Yeah, they're always good to sell. So, let's start by giving ourselves a little bit of cold resistance to the spicy summit fruit. So once we eat that, you can see we've got a cold resistance timer there on the left hand side. So we need to move pretty sharpish. I'm just going to head up here to the left, running where we can, and stay out of any fights because essentially I'll just take time and kind of just need to make it to the top as quickly as possible. There are a few bands of, uh, of nasties to, to fight if you wanted to, but it's kind of best just to stay out of their way. Well, we get what we're hunting for at the top of the peak. So just do a little bit of climbing here. Can use X to speed this one up. There's a group over there if you want to get another fight. And then we're just going to head to this middle area here. And again, just wait for your stamina to build back up. And then start climbing away. I'm just going to use a bit of X just to speed it up. And one more now, we're close enough to the top. And we're just going to head around here to the left. Running where we can, avoiding any grunting nasties that might show their faces. Just gonna head up here. What we we'll get to is the second peak on our left, which is just around this snowy path. And it takes a little bit of time, but it is worth the effort because you get a little prize at the top. where we're headed for. <laughs> okay, so now you just spiral around. some of the scenery along the way. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, and who's this dude? Okay, so the mysterious old guy has just given you this warm doublet, which we're going to equip, which will keep us lovely and warm, which means our resistance is a little bit higher. It's a shame we haven't got the paraglider because we'd be able to just glide on down to there. So unfortunately, we're going to have to head down, but we're going to try and do it as quickly as possible. Let's 
necessarily getting killed along the way. So that shrine is where we want to go to next. Actually, that's not the next shrine that we pinned, but we're going to take it anyway because it's closest and the other ones will walk away. Now you can see you're definitely going to need to get into a fight. Your cold resistance timer is counting down, but your warm doublet should mean that none of that matters. So, again, you know, you could run up there and just fight them if you wanted to, but we're a bit, a bit sneakier than that. We're gonna climb on around them, probably just take them out from above. Even some of the bombs. Theoretically, you could just climb up here and completely ignore them. Actually, we might do just to save time. Okay, so it's a fair old climb to the Kernamut Shrine. Pretty cool. We're just going to have a quick look down here. It doesn't look like there's much all that worth going after fighting those guys, so we're just going to head into the shrine and try and crack this mystery. Okay, so here we are in the Cryonis trial in the Kenamut shrine. So again, you're just going to activate this to get the rune. Okay, so now you've got a brand new rune, and it's Cryosis, Cryonis even. So that's your fourth rune, and essentially this freezes water. It's quite useful, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get up here. So, just having a look around. First job is to build your first water block. So you just freeze that, so activate it with the left button, press A, once you've got a free space, climb on up, jump on over, and you are away. Now, you've got your next problem, but luckily, you can simply raise the drawbridge up with another block of ice. And now we're through there. So, let's try and do parry this attack. It doesn't seem to be working so well. So we're just going to run up, eat him around the head. Okay, so retrieve the ancient screws. Probably just going to give myself a little snack. Okay. There we go. So then you've got another conundrum. Start by raising up this side. Now what you can do is climb up and head around. Beautiful. So you can see there is a chest. We want to get to that chest. So again, just build yourself a little block. Jump on up. And get the treasure chest. Lovely traveler spear. Right back around. Yeah. So there we go. That's the shrine completed. Just head up here, collect your spirit orb, and that's job done. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our walkthroughs. Cheers, guys. Bye.